Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I'm going to make a honey mustard uh, cornflake chicken tilapia for dinner. And I'm going to be making two pieces. And the total of that would be eight points. I'm going to have that with some vegetables and that will be my dinner. So I want to show you how I prepare this so that you could try it at home. Here we go. So in a previous video I showed you the tilapia that I buy at Costco and it comes in these plastic wraps. So I'm going to be opening up two of these. Here's that Mally's mustard that I buy. I love this stuff. It is so good. It's a honey Dijon and definitely on the thick side, which makes any kind of meat, chicken, fish, um, anything good to be coated in. Here's the cornflake crumbs. Um, it's Kellogg's cornflake crumbs. You buy it by the breadcrumb aisle, by the shake and bake aisle. It's just a box, white box. Um, I empty it out and I keep it in a Ziploc. It just, to me, keeps it fresher than inside the box. So here's what we do. So we open the tilapia. And it's pretty easy to do. <laughs> As I struggle with it. So we're going to get a knife. We're here. Sorry I'm in my pajama pants. Just really tired. Today was just, ugh. Okay, so I'm opening up the fish. Frozen piece of tilapia. And we'll do it to the second one as well. Okay. Get that out of the way. So we have our two rock hard pieces of tilapia. What I do is we open up the mustard. Let me just get a paper plate. I'm going to put the cornflake crumbs in this plate. This is very similar to making chicken cutlets with egg and bread crumbs. So I'm going to put the cornflake crumbs on a plate. All right. So here we go. So we're going to dip into the Mally's Honey Dijon. Take a little bit out. Take this rock hard piece of fish and we're going to coat it. I do one side, I lay it on the plate, and then I take a little more, I do the other side. It looks really funny doing it um, frozen, but believe me, it comes out so good. Okay, I put it back in the mustard because this is all I use it for. So I am going to literally roll it around in the plate, again, very similar to a chicken cutlet, and... I washed my hands before I started, so no skeevy hands. All right, so we get that on there. Let me just rinse real quick because I want to spray my little pan that I have here. I, believe it or not, put this in my toaster oven. I think it comes out way better than in the oven. So I'm just going to spray it with a little olive oil spray. I'm obviously running out of. <laughs> Time to go to the store. Okay, so here's my one piece, and I'm gonna repeat that on the second piece. And let's see here. Dip it in the cornflake crumbs, and go back with some more of the mustard. All right, let's get this in focus a little better, and let's spin it around in the cornflake crumbs. Pat it on, and right on that. All right, rinse the hands again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is put this plate in the sink. And I'm going to scoot you guys over so you can see what I'm doing over here. Hang on, guys. Yep, there's our beer fridge. Ha ha ha, from the party. All right, so. Sorry, guys. All right, here's our little, here's our toaster oven. So I'm gonna set it for bake at 350. Um, I usually set it for about 40 minutes and it's usually done a little bit beforehand, but I like to give it, uh, couple extra minutes to heat up. So, 
While that's going, I stick in my fish. Voila. Is that not the easiest dinner you've ever seen anybody make? Seriously? That's just crazy. All right, so I have a ton of extra cornflake crumbs. I really didn't need that many, but I have a habit of overdoing it. So since there was fish in there and it's kind of wet from the mustard, I'm just going to chuck it out. Let's throw that away. Okay. So I'm going to make a vegetable with that. I am going to, oh, sorry guys, that's my husband texting me. Hi, he says. <laughs> Hi. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, so vegetable with that, um, I don't know, maybe some green beans, maybe a salad. Um, I don't know, I'm really not going for a potato or anything like that tonight. Tell me I'm crazy, right? It's because it's weigh-in day tomorrow and I don't want the extra carbs. Not really, I'm just not craving it. I don't know, I think my mindset today on having such a bad weekend of eating, I'm just really not hungry. Today was a weird day. Remember this morning when I was telling you I made tuna and I had some yogurt and some little clementines? Well, I had the tuna, I had the clementine, but I never ate the yogurt. I just wasn't into it. Um, I don't know, and then when I came home I had a banana for a snack. So. I don't know, I'm way under, but I think it's just because my body had had so much to eat that today it's just, my stomach's not right, I don't know, today was not a great day, so, anyway, that's dinner for tonight, honey mustard and cornflake tilapia, so, that's a, that's a, let me think, let's see, if I eat both pieces, that's six points, and the green beans will be zero, um, so technically that leaves me with some extra points for the night. Um, maybe I'll have some fruit salad later depending on how my stomach is. We'll see. But anyway, that's it kiddos. So I will see you guys all tomorrow for the big weigh-in. Ah! I'm freaking out! No, I'm just kidding. I am a little bit. So, um, keep me in your thoughts and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.